So there's some sport that I'm not as knowledgeable about that started yesterday. I don't really know. Uh, I don't even know what that team is. <laughs> Never been to Chicago. No, I've been to Chicago. Uh, Wrigley Field. Yep. Beautiful stadium. Had some bathroom issues last night. Opening day, the MLB. <laughs> yeah. They had bathroom issues. The big news is opening day. Yes, opening night. That's, opening that's night. Today opening is opening night. day. Yep. Uh, they had some bathroom issues. Yeah. They had to bring some porta potties. Had to. They had have to. they have a jumbotron. How do you like the jumbotron? Weird. They have first a of all, it's gorgeous, but it's so weird looking at that that out there. How they didn't work out this bathroom situation though is kind of without me. It's, it's, it's like, opening night. We we'll talk about the bathroom. We got you a jumbotron, the but there was no guarantee of any work in restrooms. Sorry guys. Yeah, I mean it's rough. <laughs> it's not easy. But there was a game that went there on. There was a game. That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. Opening day. We were in Los Angeles, so today the big game is Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Padres. Yes, in that's LA. the game I'm looking forward to. It'll be a great series, especially with yes. the big trade, which we will talk about in a second. But we're gonna go back to St. Louis. At Wrigley Field with the Chicago Cubs. Mm -hmm. Not looking good for the Cubs opening day. 3 0. Yeah, I mean, oh. it's, again, a lot of hype this year going into Chicago, and rightfully so. A lot of big moves being made. But what if you had, uh, you know, Chris Bryant? <laughs> he would have hit Chris four Bryant home runs yesterday. Home one, they would have won the game. <laughs> Easy. The Babe Ruth of preseason. Fortunately, we have 161 more chances, so I think we're in good shape. But no, nonetheless, I think this is a good game. I, I don't think this is an indicator, though for what the Cubs are going to look mm -hmm. like. I think this is a good indicator to what St. Louis is going to look like because right now I see them winning the division. They're, and okay. that, that division's okay. always pretty pretty tough. Good competition within the Central. Um, I still see them winning the division. But the Cubs, they look a little out of it. Head mm -hmm. games, I don't know what's going on. They didn't look like this. Not that they were, like, killing it in spring mm -hmm. training, but they looked like a different team. Nonetheless, I don't think they're going to be this type of team this season. Again, we still have Chris Bryant coming mm -hmm. up. You know, we still have guys that just need to kind of work out their rhythm and stuff. It's cold in Chicago. They're, these guys are coming from, like, 80-degree temperatures in Arizona. <laughs> so I'm blaming it on the temperature. No, but, yeah, I mean, we've got a long ways to go. It won't be Is St. Bad. Louis better without Pujols over these last few years? You know, St. Louis is weird. I don't remember in my lifetime seeing a bad St. Louis team. So even yeah. though Pujols is gone, I mean, they still find ways to keep it going. So That's, opening night was big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big night. Mm -hmm. Opening days today. A lot of baseball games. Yeah. Your baseball fan, this is heaven for you. I got friends in Detroit. I see them on Facebook, on Twitter, talking about going to Comerica Park. I've been to Comerica Park. It's a beautiful park. Uh, I might not be the biggest baseball fan, but I do love going to the games. I love the it environment. I love the atmosphere. Time. I love the Dodger dogs. Not very good for you, but they taste great. Um, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the big trade yesterday. Stealing the show. Stealing, stealing some thunder, the show man. out of opening night. Yeah, uh, the Atlanta no. Braves trade maybe probably the best closer in the NL at that time, the NL, uh, to uh, the Padres. Again, man, the Padres just doing big things. I mean, they're in it to win it. Mm -hmm. See, it it's definitely more short term because, I mean, these guys in 20, uh, 2017, the Padres are going to have to pay like for their big name players roughly like almost $70 million. Yeah, so we'll think, see what yeah, happens right. when that rolls around. Mm -hmm. But right now, I think they're only like 18th, I think, in payroll. So that's not too bad. But they're in it to win it right now. They're going to be a fun team to watch. But it, I think definitely a good move on San Diego's part. What do you think with Kimbrell? Do you think, I mean, does this guarantee them a World Series? I wouldn't say it guarantees them a World Series, but definitely a playoff contender. Mm -hmm. Seriously, a team to be taken seriously. Because, again, Dodgers have been looking good the last few years, but have struggled in the postseason. So this could be the Padres' year. Big baseball day. We spent half the time talking about bathrooms.